At six, when they go low, you go high. The words to live by for one neighbor in Floyd's Knobs, Indiana, after having nearly a dozen Black Lives Matter signs stolen right out of her front yard. Abby Lutz is bringing us the story from Floyd County. There's a lot of signs here in this front yard in Floyd's Knobs, but just a few days ago, there was more than double that number. They're hard to miss. This is the, the best spot right here on the open road where everybody could see it. A display of Black Lives Matter signs sits in Aaliyah Boofter's front yard, and it's meant to send a message. I wanted people to know first thing when you come to Floyd's Knobs, we welcome all types of people. Though that message hasn't been easy to keep up. See, this yard started with just one Black Lives Matter sign. It lasted a few days and then it was stolen around July 3rd. That's when Aaliyah's neighbor, Angela, stepped in. I was just angry and upset about the fact that it was just, you know, this one sign at the top of the hill and why someone would, you know, feel the need to, to take that just seemed so, um, I don't know, just seems so ridiculous. So she took action. I've never really, you know, been a yard sign person, but I was like, we're going to get some yard signs. She bought 30 of them, putting some in her yard, in neighbors' yards, and putting the majority back in Boofter's yard. They were out for one day. Um, we got a lot of honks of support, which was awesome. And then um, Sunday overnight, Sunday night, 10 of the signs were stolen. My kids and I were just so upset. We were just anger. I felt like I was going to be sick to my stomach to know that someone felt that strongly and was that racist that they would do this twice. But she says she's taking the high road, working to keep a message of love on display. We're just going to keep putting these signs out to let them know that uh, everyone is welcome here. We want anybody coming to Floyd's Knobs to know we are inclusive and we love them no matter what they look like. I'm told a police report has been filed in hopes of holding the people who did this accountable. I'm in Floyd's Knobs, Abby Lutz, WHAS 11 News.